What the hell, everybody? Didn't even have a chance. Did not even have a chance. Hey guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is week three of JoJo June. This is crazy, guys. I didn't think week three would have come up on us so fast. And to celebrate that, Emily and Lenny actually revealed three different pre-orders today, one of which no one was expecting, and two of them were actually revealed early this week by the YouTube channel Shark News. Shark is an amazing YouTuber, and you guys should definitely check out his channel. Definitely give him a like and follow. Tell him that Jay sent you. And luckily for us, guys, they will be available on Entertainment Earth, and I will have affiliate links in the description below which you can use to help out the channel without further ado guys let's take a look and see exactly what was announced today on week three of yojo june let's have a look guys i want to give a shout out to shark news on youtube who is a great content creator definitely give him a like and a follow tell him that jay sent you shark was the first one to actually break the news that tunnel rat and desert commando snake eyes was actually going to be released possibly today he even mentioned that there would be a possible storm shadow being teased in the background of the desert commando snake eyes who could also be a future release and earlier this morning emily and lenny of course they went on to talk about all of the classified pre-orders which are available today at 6 14 23 and the first figure as was reported by shark was in fact desert commando snake eyes this is an amazing figure and he looks absolutely in freaking credible there is a lot of reuse here in terms of Snake Eyes' overall appearance. I mean, the, the basic top torso is Snake Eyes. He does come with that bandolier with all those grenades. He has his sword, which has already become with one of the figures already, and that Uzi-type weapon. He really is just a basic repaint of the Snake Eyes and Tempered 2-pack, which was released last year. The main differences being the color schemes and, of course, the new head sculpt. He's holding his signature Arashkage sword and, of course, that Uzi-type weapon, which he's pictured here as well. I really do like this new head sculpt, though. It really is a wonderful addition to the character. The tan color scheme really does work for Snake Eyes in the desert warfare, as he really can disguise himself in any situation and that new head sculpt really does give him a wonderful new appearance which i absolutely love snake eyes was always well packed out with multiple weapons so we can fully expect that he will be very similar to that in nature lenny also wanted to point out that there was actually a mongoose eating a cobra symbol i believe that's what he said which is kind of neat because mongooses in the desert eat cobras that's a lot of fun snake eyes sword is also slightly camouflaged itself but still retaining that wonderful Arashkage symbolism. This is a fan channel exclusive and should be available for pre-order at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. The next figure they revealed was something which they were shocked that no one else had discovered yet, and actually, this one's really exciting. Guys, it is the Cobra Eel. This figure makes sense as the reveal for Torpedo was one of the fan favorites, and he had a wonderful pack out, really opening up the deep sea adventures for G.I. Joe. And these eels are the perfect Cobra counter for that. They look absolutely menacing i really love the color design here very reminiscent of the way they looked in the cartoon as well as in the toy we can see that wonderful red chest with with the cobra symbol on top the grays and blacks really complement each other especially making them harder to see in the water and the dark he comes with a wonderful pack out of the aqualung itself with what appears to be a few motors to actually help them swim through the water faster. They have that full face mask with the rebreather and the two frogman fins which help them when navigating and swimming through the water easily. He also comes with a harpoon which is a really wonderful addition. I love the toy photography that's being displayed here, just wonderful, making it look like they're actually underwater. That rebreather does look like it can keep them underwater for hours and I really do love the little turbines which are on the backpack which really help him to speed through the water incredibly fast. There's a lot to see here. After you take off the rebreather helmet, he has this wonderful frogman head sculpt and that wonderful wristband which, which helps them to tell the depth that he's at as well as how much oxygen he has left. This is going to be a really fun addition to the line, guys, as Cobra now has someone to counter torpedo in the water. This is going to be an Amazon exclusive, but there will be limited quantities available on Hasbro Pulse at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Hasbro Pulse premium members and 2 o'clock p.m. for all the rest of the fans. So guys, if you're trying to get your hands on a Cobra Eel, which is an army builder, by the way, this is the time. I wonder, though, if this one will sell out as quickly as the Python Patrol Crimson Guards did in the last round. If it does, though, you can definitely get it on Amazon.com. Guys, you're not going to believe this. As I am recording this and editing the footage, I just checked because it's 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the Cobra Eel just got dropped, and you won't believe this. Four minutes later, literally four minutes later, it already is sold out. Holy crap, everybody. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that this 
Hasbro Pulse limited stock was sold out in less than three minutes. What the hell, everybody? That's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Didn't even have a chance. Did not even have a chance. And the final reveal, which of course was revealed by Shark himself, was Tunnel Rat. Yes, indeed. Tunnel Rat was very much anticipated in the line. He is, of course, a stealth operative who doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. As a matter of fact, he doesn't mind getting anything dirty. We can see he has this wonderful pack out here. Holy crap, it comes with a lot of stuff. He's got a night vision scope. He's got those two flashlights to help him see through the dark. He's got that backpack, which is strapped to his back. It looks like a flare gun or perhaps a magnum. Yes, it actually does seem to be a magnum of sorts, which is on his chest holster. He also comes with a sling pouch and two thigh pouches where we can store additional weapons. He looks absolutely amazing and really is representative of the way he looked in the cartoon. I love Tunnel Rat. He really was one of my absolute favorites growing up as a kid, especially since he was featured in the movie itself. He had that great personality of just somebody who really didn't care, but at the same time have a soft spot for his fellow Joes. Lenny here is demonstrating his additional features, including that crazy looking night vision scope. It's got four different lenses and can fit directly on top of his head. It's so much fun. The flashlights on the backpack actually do detach and can be held in his hands. And he even has a small knife, which he can use for hand-to-hand -hand combat and what appears to be a cartridge to reload that crazy looking gun which is a cross between a sniper rifle and some sort of fully automatic weapon now that I look at it again. This is a wonderful addition to the team and I can't wait to get this into our collection. He is actually made up of a lot of different parts and I'm wondering if there's actually not that much reuse in this figure as he is quite a short figure overall. This is going to be a mainline release so Target, Walmart, and online retailers and will be available today for pre-order at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, probably available on places like Entertainment Earth. And if that's the case, I will have affiliate links in the description below so you guys can get your own version of Tunnel Rat, as well as the Desert Commando Snake Eyes. Those affiliate links will be in the description below. If you're trying to get your hands on the Cobra Eel, you will definitely have to try and get your pre-order down on Amazon.com. Didn't even have a chance. Did not even have a chance. And if I find any links, they will be available in the description below. What a wonderful reveal of pre-orders today, guys. Definitely head over to HasbroPulse.com and try your hand at getting the Moray Eel. Didn't even have a chance. And of course, the other two figures, we will be having affiliate links in the description below. Wow, guys, that was absolutely incredible. Another huge shout out to Shark News on YouTube. Desert Commando Snake Eyes. Tunnel Rat being available today was an absolute huge shocker to many people. But Shark was on top of that. Congratulations, Shark. Wonderful sleuthing. But the Cobra Eel is only available on Amazon.com and later today on HasbroPulse.com with limited quantities. Of course, Hasbro Pulse Premium members will get a first shot at this at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and everybody else will get another shot at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Didn't even have a chance. Guys, I will have affiliate links for Entertainment Earth below to purchase Tunnel Rat and Desert Commando Snake Eyes. Please use those affiliate links, guys. It really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate all your support. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and if you did, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out, and if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you guys for your support. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Cobra! Yo, Joe. Good journey, everybody. Be proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow, and I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.